hi everyone and welcome back to my channel i know in the last lazy girl crochet video you all wanted to know if this method will work on other types of crochet hair so we're going to prove whether it does or does not work in this video let's get started i'm starting off with six braids three at the top and three at the bottom and to make this style as heat free as possible i did these on freshly washed hair and let it dry overnight and then for the top i section my hair off as if i'm doing a sewing and then I'm just going to wrap those braids up and secure them with a bobby pin. I'm making this as easy as possible. No needle and thread. Also in the last video, I know you all were worried about the crochet pulling on your natural hair. So we're going to use a wig cap in this one. And this is the hair that I'm using. It's the Model Model 3x Pre-Loop Yaki Hair in 14 inches. And this is the cap that they also sent in the package. And the great thing about it is that it has combs in it and it's made specifically for crocheting your hair. So it's super efficient for this style. The best feature about these crochet pieces is that they come with a flexi lock feature that allows you to open up the loop as big or as small as you would like. And so I'm just opening that up so that I have enough space to double knot my piece and then just start in the back. And I'm going through the cap and my hair on some pieces and just the cap on other pieces. So you can do it according to your comfort level and just double knotting. And then as with the crochet locks that I did, you can crochet literally everywhere you need to. And now that you have your crochet net on top, you have even more options of where to go. Voila! Another great feature about these crochet pieces is that they come pre-sectioned. A lot of times with loose, curly, or straight crochet hair, you have to section it off and it takes forever and a day. But not for the lazy girls like you. <laughs> you literally just take it out of the pack. It's already done. You loosen up your flexi lock and you just put it in. It's pretty self-explanatory. Other than that, not much has changed between the first video and the second one. So I'm just going to shut up now and let y'all watch exactly what I'm doing until we get to the top. at the very top because that's just how quick this method is for the very top I didn't double knot it just so that it could lay flatter and this is how far I got without even going into the second pack so this doesn't even take a lot and even for the second pack I just used the first bundle of it out of the three and I just went back in and filled in any like spacious areas Now for the finishing touches, I'm taking my Fantasia Straightening Serum and I found that this hair is the best for synthetic crochet hair when you want to blow dry it. So applying that all throughout and then just taking a blow dryer and you can see the difference in each side between the blow dried and the non blow dried. It just brings it down some. And then for the part of my hair that I left out to cover the crochet area, I'm just going to take that out, part it down the middle to cover my knots, and then use that same serum and blow dry that. This was just the way that I chose to wear mine personally, but if you want, you could just leave your edges out and wear it up, or you can do full crochet with no hair left out. This was just the look that I was going for so that it could look more natural.
because I didn't want to completely fry my hair to get it as straight as the crochet hair I decided to go with the two braids to the back look so I'm just braiding down on each side and then securing it with bobby pins in the back And here's the finished product. This came out super good and you cannot even tell that you have six struggle braids underneath. Hence the beauty of the lazy girl crochet method. So to answer all the questions that I received, it absolutely does work. And this can even be applied with different types of crochet twists, crochet, anything really. I did it with straight hair because if it could work with straight hair, it could really work with anything. I absolutely cannot end this video without saying thank you all so, so, so very much for all the love you've shown to my channel and to the Lazy Girl Crochet Method. I'll be posting a takedown video for this method, so stay tuned for that. And then also, in the meantime, check out the description box below for the information on how to receive this hair and where to purchase it. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and I will see y'all soon. <laughs> Bye.